So this morning, after I came home, I let the birds out of the cage, and I went in to do some recording. I kept hearing this one bird screaming over and over and over. Well, that was Pepper. Pepper is the one on the left. Pretty Boy is the one on the right. They're two males, but those two birds have bonded as partners. They're not mates, but uh, Pretty Boy is the mate for Sunshine, the female. But Pretty Boy, on the right there, managed to get himself somehow back behind this cabinet. Don't ask me how. I have no idea. It's a very tight squeeze. But he's somehow up here where it's further away. He had gotten in there from up above. Where I usually have cardboard up there. And they can chew it up. And of course he, he managed to, or the conglomerate of birds, had managed to pick a hole in it. So he got back there. And he was back there for quite a while before I finally, I mean I searched the house, searched the a room here and my cat sat over here on the dining room table so I knew she wasn't responsible for him being gone simply because there would have been feathers all over the floor but because pretty boy who never makes any noise was setting up such a huge fuss I finally pulled the cat I prayed about it and I pulled the cabinet out and I was part way and then I saw some tail feathers and I thought aha so I got my bird out of there, and he's exhausted from trying to get out of there for quite a while. And Pepper on the left there never will get on my hand. Never. Um, he just has always been a, a wild bird, very leery. And he tolerates me. But Pretty Boy is his partner. And, uh, and he's very worried about him. Because I think Pretty Boy is an older bird, too. So anyway, after I finally got Pepper, or Pretty Boy, out from behind the cabinet, I was holding him on my hand and stroking him because he was trembling all over. He was afraid. He was exhausted and, uh, and very, very tired from trying to get out of that tight little spot. And Pepper finally came and landed on my head a couple of times. I put my hand up for him to get on it, but he wouldn't have anything to do with it. So I just kept holding Pretty Boy and petting him. And Pretty Boy just, of course, always lets me pet him when he gets... He always gets in trouble. He's always doing something to get in trouble. And I have to get him out, and then he'll sit on the floor quietly, and then pretty soon he'll get on my hand. And, and he's okay with that. He's a kissy bird. He'll, he'll kiss, kiss, kiss me. And actually, he's just nibbling my lips to see what they taste like, I think. But um, at any rate... <laughs> Pepper finally came down and landed on my hand just so he could sit next to Pretty Boy. And ever since I put Pretty Boy in the crib, Pepper's been bugging him. I think he knows Pretty Boy's in trouble. And he wants to make sure he doesn't... I don't know. Hasn't given up. Pepper says, don't you give up. You stay with me here, buddy. So we'll see if Pepper can get Pretty Boy active again. That's okay, Pretty Boy. Get him going, Pepper Pepper. And Pretty Boy never ignores Pepper. They're really good buddies. Pepper used to be the one that would mate with Sunshine. But then um, he could never fertilize her eggs. They never were fertilized by him. So It's kind of like he gave the job over to Pretty Boy, who started mating with her, and Pepper would just let it happen, which was kind of unusual. Because he chased the other birds away from her. But he let his buddy... Hey, pretty, 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 pretty boy. I hope this hasn't been too much of a strain for pretty boy. We just, Lord willing, he'll survive and be okay.
So I got in the cage and Pretty Boy got on my hand right away. And because I could see Pepper knew that he needed to be out moving around. So I got him on my hand and took him out of the cage and put him up above where he's with the other birds. And that'll be the best stimulus for him. Being part of the flock, the family, is so important for birds. So they can all share in his recovery. And hopefully you'll make it. Many times, Pretty Boy has gotten himself in a tight spot. And he's always come out of it okay. But I think this time it was really, really a, not a good time for him. Oh, yeah, see, Pepper's <laughs> protecting him from the other birds. Although Zola over there is a friendly one, too. But Pepper wants to make sure that... He says, get away from my partner, man. You just leave him alone. He's resting. Okie dokie.